I don't see any friends yet. I'm waiting over here till I see somebody. <laughs> oh, we got one, but that's probably Brenda. <laughs> oh, we got two. Here they come. Oh, Joan is coming. Is here? Not here, but Joan is watching. Hi, Joan. Sue Lear. Hi, Sue. This is like romper room. How's my hair? Beautiful. Okay. Mine probably looks like crap. Oh, yours looks good too. Hi, ladies. Hi, friends. Tara Tom here from Western New York. <laughs> I, I forgot where I was. Western New York. Actually, what I was thinking was um, I was watching someone else's Facebook Live this morning, and she has a huge following, and she's amazing. But she says at the beginning of her lives, um, the first thing she wants you to do is type in where you're watching from. So I thought that would be fun. We'll see where everybody's watching from. Some of you might be um, out of town. Some of you might be in Albion. And we're just curious to know, where are you? Um, also, another thing that we used to do on Facebook Live that I haven't in a while, but I think we need to revisit it, is if you enjoy this program, if you know some friends who might be interested in seeing what we have to offer, would you mind sharing after the live is done, just sharing it on your page and just saying, you know, hi, Quilty friends. There's this shop in Albion that you might be interested in. That would be super helpful. If you could, I think the, it used to be like and share, but I'm just asking you to share. But not if you don't like it because you don't want to lead your friends astray, right? All right, so what else was I going to talk about this morning? I always talk about the weather. The weather is snowy and gray. And I heard the meteorologist on the news today say, I've always said, be wary of a warm winter day. And we had a warm winter day, two days actually, maybe even three. Um, and now we're paying the price because it's cold and snowy. And yesterday it was very blowy. So um, if you are one of those in Orleans County who didn't have power, sorry about that. I hope you got it back. So you can watch us um but yeah it's been it's been a whirlwind of a weather experience i am back from florida we had a great time it was nice and restful i turned off all of my alarms and the girls hurt here know i have a few alarms um and i turned them all off and i just woke up when i woke up and i went to bed when i wanted to go to bed and which is very nice. I got to spend the time with my two daughters, which was great. And another daughter of my heart, I call her, and they had a great time. And we all got sunburnt, which was the plan. I know it's not the healthiest, smartest plan, but we did it anyway. Um, and none of us was really, you know, hurting like sometimes happens. So um, got some sun, and it was great. So I have some announcements to make. As Linda told me yesterday, next week is retreat. I was like, what? She's like, yeah, that's what happens when you take a week off. <laughs> you lose a week. <laughs> so um, next week is retreat. Irene and I will be heading over on Wednesday to get ready for everybody who is invited to come on Thursday morning. What time can they get there, Irene? They can get there between 8 and 9. Between 8 and 9. Irene will be there at the crack of dawn. Yeah but she has lots of stuff to do to get ready for everybody. So between eight and nine is a good time to join us. And we will be um, sewing the days away, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, half a Sunday. Um, we're gonna be eating some great food and it's just gonna be great. Um, I know not everybody who's watching is going with us. So just wanna let you know, we're gonna do this again in November around Veterans Day. So. If you are having FOMO, um, come join us in November. It'll be fun. Okay, so the other announcement. Oh, so while we're at Quilt Away, the internet is a bit of a challenge. And so we are not going to schedule our Facebook Live for Thursday morning. We may pop on and do a little impromptu live, but um, don't be sad on next Thursday when we don't come into your notifications because we're not going to be doing this which is why we're all decked out as leprechauns because we want to be able to 
make the most of it. How come you have a hat and I don't? You didn't take a headband. Oh, wait till you see Irene. I don't need it. You don't need it. Irene's cute with her hat and her glasses. Um, so we're just getting ready ahead of time for St. Patrick's Day, which is in a couple of weeks. What else do we need to say? Oh, today is the last day to pre-purchase the item of the month for February. Irene is going to do a demo on it. You've probably already seen what it is. It's the Creative Grid 24 by 36 mat. It's a great tool, two-sided, um, very durable, works with the Stripology ruler. It's just a great um, opportunity to have a great product, and it's a, it's a good size. So Irene's going to be demoing that. And Irene, I hate to point this out on camera, but we're not going to pause. I think that's the mat is upside down for the demo. But the mat is the, the other side is the creative because grid side, isn't it? Oh, okay. See, it this is why I should just not say anything because she is always prepared. I just don't know what the plan is. All right. So today's the last day for that. So um, we're going to show you a demo of how to use it with Stripology. When I say we, I mean Irene because she's a demo girl. This was proven at the last quilt away when I try to do a demo. I can do other things well, right? <laughs> Okay, so Irene's also going to share with you about the classes that are coming up. We got some fun ones. And um, Irene, I will be available to hold one up when you're ready. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'm going to go over to All that right. side. Irene's going to come and show you, and I'll see you in a minute. Good morning. How are we doing? I, uh, I dug out my smelter. Actually, I didn't dig it out. I just cleaned it in my closet, and I'm like, I have a new one. Oh, yeah. It says it snowed on what, but then I forgot we were doing all the uh, things, but it's okay. Well, it makes a nice contrast. There you go. There you go. Yes, sir. My sound's not working. Hang on. Maybe. Okay, let's try that. Is that getting better? My dear Brenda? Okay. Helps when you turn the mic on. Yeah. 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 All right. So, again, she explained to you that we have to wear these because we're not... We're not doing one next week. That only leaves one more week after this to wear our leprechaun garb because with Easter so close to the end, well, it is the end of March, we have to wear the Easter stuff, and that's cool. So I dug it up. All right, classes that we have coming up. We have Jelly Roll Rug, which is a favorite all the time. And the classes have been moved to daytime. They were being offered at night. Um, well, 5.30, if you call that night. And um, <clears throat> a couple of the ladies that signed up are both retired and able to come during the day. So we moved it to the day. So if the day is more tempting to you, then um, you might want to look at that. It is March 5th and March 12th. It's a two-session class. I teach you how to make the rope. And then you work for a while. Then you go home and finish the rope if you don't get it done. And then um, you come back and I teach you how to start putting it together, going around. So the 5th and the 12th is from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And it's $48. So if you're interested in that, it's, I believe it's repaired online so that it's the correct time and date. It was going to be two weeks apart, but now it's one week apart. So... The next class is the Poppins bag. And this is my Poppins bag. I'm gonna move this, okay. It's a very nice bag. It does have stays in it, so that these, these things are called stays. So that it's nice and firm around the top, as it hits me in the face. And it allows it to pop up when you open it and pop back down. You've got a double direction zipper on top. Okay, you also have pockets, nice big pockets here, and a nice big pocket here. I put that in it so it would stand out. And there are two pockets on the inside also. This is an awesome bag. Oh, and a nice heavy bottom. Okay. It's very, it's very yeah, it just, and it stands up all on its own, but that's the inside. So, this bag is over two days because you've got, you quilt it yourself. Okay, so you've got work you got to do. You got 
um, what do you call that stuff? Fusible stuff to put on the inside to make it nice with the nice handles. You make these, you don't buy them, you make these and we put the zipper on and so forth. So that is, and of course this is the pattern with the stays that are put in the top. I'm going to stuff that in there so I don't lose it. And that is March 23rd and April 6th. Okay. Um, the dates changed. It was going to be all in March, but I realized I can't do it this Saturday because I have a baby shower to go to. So March 23rd through April 6th, 10.30 a.m. to 2 p.m., 2.30 p.m., and it's $64. And Tara wants to say something. I do. See? So I see that there's a question. Joanne wants to know, will it fit under the seat in an airplane? Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> I want to put on here the dimensions, 18 inches wide by 12 inches deep by 14 inches. It'll squish down. Depending on what you put in it, it'll yeah. squish down. So I'm not sure what the dimensions are for under the seat, but those are the dimensions for this bag. So maybe somebody can you talk. I get the feeling that with the storm, the internet may have also suffered. Could be. I see Terry is saying that it was frozen and I can see it now. So okay, now, you're now, we're now we're okay, back. We're back. Okay. Sorry about that. We were, I was wondering if maybe with the high winds and horrible weather, cause it's still windy. It's not as windy as it was last night but it's still windy that maybe the internet's having a fit. And the last so. thing that I was saying was that the dimensions for this bag are... I just put it back. <laughs> um, because Joanne wanted to know if it would fit underneath it, an airplane seat. The dimensions are 18 wide by 12 deep by 14 tall. So um, I don't know what the rules are for that, but those are the dimensions. For the and it does, if it's not full to the top, it does squish yeah. a little. It's got a little bit. I used to put, um, before I brought it down here, yeah, see it pops down a little. Um, I put yarn and stuff in it, and that gives it even more give because you don't have something solid in it. I don't know what you intended to put in it to take on the airplane. Maybe your books and your Kindle and your all that. It's big. Or your it's, afghan that you're knitting. There you go. So, all right. Um, we also have, we rescheduled beginning quilting. And I know if you're watching this, you're probably a quilter, but maybe you know somebody who said, oh, I'd love to take a beginning quilting class. So it is now rescheduled to, I take it we didn't change this again. No. Okay. To March 26th, April 2nd, and April 9th. I believe those are all Tuesdays. Yes. Um, from Sometime in the morning till sometime in the afternoon. 10 a.m. 10, 10 to 1. Sorry, it's and it's $70. And we want to show you what you will be aspiring to. Okay? We are using half packs. And I shouldn't say we. Linda Luther is using a half pack. And she chose this one to work. Have I got it sideways? This one. All right. Oh, no. It's, 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 upside, it's down. upside down. But it's okay. It doesn't matter. Um. I know I'm not in the picture, but you can hear me. Um, this one, it, you will pick your own half pack. You don't have to do it in these colors, but this is the pattern that Linda will be working with to show you how to cut your fabric, how to piece your fabric, how to do rows, how to do all that stuff. This is a great beginning class. And you do end up with a beautiful little throw when you're done. So... It's also a great class if you maybe didn't take a beginning class yep. and want to learn the foundational skills from someone who has been teaching. Yeah, if you tried to teach yourself and you're thinking maybe I should have something a little more professional, Linda Luther's the perfect person to do that. And um, it's beautiful, yes. We do have some of these packs left. So if you want to sign up for the class and you want to make that exact one, then we do have some of those half pack left. Um, can we show the new half pack? Yeah. I love the new half pack. I created a new half pack when I was here on Tuesday. It is, obviously it's going to have purple and green in it. Otherwise I wouldn't be gushing so much. Ooh. I'm not positive it's on the website yet. May not be on the website, but this is from Spring Awakenings. And I don't know if you're getting glare or anything. 
Um, but look at that fabric, isn't it so pretty? And I hear that some daffodils are coming up already. Here. Oh yeah, daffodils and crocuses, the poor and little I saw things. Some pansies in Florida. I but was looking ahead because once they spoil you with nice weather, you just want to get into the nice weather. I was looking ahead and Thursday they're saying seventy-one. <gasps> Here? Yeah. Tomorrow it's fifty-three, and then it steadily goes so maybe up. Maybe we can sit out by the pool at retreat. Yeah, that'll <laughs> work. The empty pool with the canvas on it and everything. So, but that'll be a great day for moving in because it won't be horribly cold. We can leave the doors open. We can do all that. So, that's awesome. And and there's moving in. I'm I'm sure, ooh, I'm sure that you're aware of this if you've gone to any retreat. The two worst days are moving in and moving out. Oh, the worst is moving out. Moving out is by far the worst. Yeah. At least when you're moving in, there's excitement and I'm going to get to work on all this stuff and I'm going to get to do this. Um, <clears throat> moving out is just flat out depressing because it's all done. You, you wait and wait and wait for it to get here and poof, it's gone. So, um, so right now, right now, it says that move-in day will be in the 70s. So it'll be fun. So, all right. Those are our three classes that we're talking about. Now I'm going to let Tara talk to you about a couple featured products. Okay? Yep. All right. So I have had the advantage for the past couple of minutes of being on the other side of the camera, my phone, and seeing that there are some new names that are watching today. Is that here? Did you, uh, where's your speaker? Maybe because I covered my. Is that better now? Sorry about that. So I'm gonna. We're gonna minutes. we're gonna get this microphone Which thing figured out. On the other side of the phone, the past couple of minutes, I noticed that there are some new names who are still watching today. Is it off? Do you want mine? It's flashing. What does that mean? That it. Did you move this phone at all? Because when you do that, it's, I did. it screws awesome. this up. All right. Sound sound check. Where's our IT guy? Maybe unplug it and replug it? Oh, sorry. You got to see my hand. Sorry. We're going to try something. You're going to lose us completely. Well, the sound. Well, it doesn't matter. You don't have any sound anyway. Bear with us, ladies. All right. Now, try shutting off your microphone and turning it back on again. Am I flashing? When you can okay. hear us again, I'm let not us know. Flashing. Mine's not flashing. Brenda's on a delay. Oh, we're good. We're good. All right. Maybe. Am I good? You want me to keep talking? Say talk more. Okay. So I'll just say what I was saying before, and we'll see if the sound is okay. You're okay. Okay. Brenda says okay. So I'm noticing some new faces, and I'm so glad to have you. Actually, I don't see any faces. I just, just see the names. So I'm noticing some new names. We're so glad to have you, and also I'm noticing that some people come up, came on after I made announcements, so I just want to say the same thing that I said at the beginning, which is if you are watching, if you wouldn't mind, um, okay, can you put in the comments where you're watching from, because that would be fun to know where everybody's watching from, and also um, if you are so inclined, we would really love it if you would share this after it's all done being posted on Facebook, so um, that would be a great gift to us so that other people can find us if you share. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about, because I did notice that there were some new new names, um, maybe you didn't know what we were talking about when we said half pack. And so oh, yeah. this, I'm just going to give a little background. This is our new half pack. We've been talking about them a lot. We're really excited, but not everybody's been here all this time. So this is a package that has five half yard pieces of fabric all curated by us from the shop they're not all part of a line um, and what we do with these is we have several different projects nine in total the one that we showed a minute ago is called candy lane and we have also most of them are lap size quilts and then there's one tote that is a really um, great project <clears throat> to make and if you're interested you can either go on the website or come in the shop and you can purchase whichever half pack you like. We've shown you two examples. And then you get the pattern for free. So it's kind of a mix and match thing. 
you pick the half pack and you like whichever pattern you like and then that's how that works so um just wanted to fill you in on what that meant and this one is our newest as irene said i'm not sure it's on the website yet but i have um gotten the picture of it so i can get it there so everything's a process around here all right so the other thing i wanted to talk about that is more new than the half packs is linda has been putting together the most adorable cross stitch patterns i don't know how many of you used to be cross stitchers maybe some of you are still cross stitchers i know when i did it um i don't even remember the last time i did it. i know it was before i was 40 because that's when my eyesight started to be a little challenging um, but i've since gotten glasses so that i can figure that out not these um, but it used to be that you bought the book and then you bought the cloth and then you went to Joann's and you got all the floss and maybe you had a whole collection of floss and it took forever, which is why the last one I started, I didn't finish. Um, but these are fun, smaller projects. Um, and these are good, our kits, they're on the website and we're going to be taking them to retreat. This one, this one is called Shamrock Wishes. And this includes the eight o'clock, the floss, the pattern and the adorable little pom-pom trim there's the pom-pom trim and, and the, needle. the needles yep so you've got except for the hoop you've got almost everything that you need to get started on this project and that's a nice it's not a huge floss or a huge ada cloth but it's not super tight um so that's a project i don't know how long it took linda to do it she's she's, she's good yeah she cranks them out but this, um, the project that was photographed for the pattern has a little pillow, and I think Linda's going to be making hers into a pillow, but um, that's a fun one. That, that's a brand new thing that I re we really just made last week, um, and that is great for St. Patrick's Day. It goes well with our ensemble. <laughs> and then this one is more of a summer project. It's called Be Happy. And after Irene gives it back to me, I'm going to have her run and get the project. Oh, Do you know okay. where it is? Yep, it's out here on the shelf. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't thinking. Um, Linda made this into a cute pillow, too. But this project kit has the pattern and the flaws. And this is a new-to-me product. It's called Lugana. And it's more of a finer cloth than the Ada, more flexible and a little bit smaller i would say but still very clearly has the the holes for the needle for the cross stitch so that's be happy this is the adorable little pillow that linda made it's so pretty yep we don't have directions yet for the pillow but this is a pretty easy thing to just put together with um, a couple of fat quarters maybe three fat quarters would do it so um super cute be humble be kind be happy. We just love bees around here. And we should because we need the bees. All right, so there's that, those things. And then next up is Irene's demo. We learned that the mat that we're promoting pairs very nicely with the Stripology ruler. I know some of you already have those. And some of you might want to buy them after you see this video. So we're going to show you how it works. And I'm going to come over to the camera and turn it around. All right, I'm taking my glasses off because the fancy ones, because I'm going to have my head tipped down. They're going to fall anyway. So, um, all right, a couple things about this mat. It's created by Creative Grids. Okay, it's a specifically a Creative Grids um, mat. It doesn't mean you can't use it for other things, but it was created with certain things in mind. If you have any Creative Grids rulers, um, you will notice that the lines are black. You do have occasional white ones, like the very center line, there's a white one. Um, but for the most part, your lines are black, including your, your 45 degree and 60 degree and so forth. So when they created this mat, and this is why it's upside, it's not the site I was going to demo on, I will, but you will notice these lines are green or blue, whatever you want to call it. A teal color, I guess, we'll go with that. That's because they don't interfere with the lines on the ruler. 
if you have ever tried to use any kind of ruler or template or something that has lines on it and tried to put it on a mat that has dark lines on it, you can't tell which lines are going where. That's why for many of my Deb Tucker tools, I want a blank mat so I can concentrate. This does not interfere because they're a different color. So if you're trying to size something up, you can follow your dark lines because you're not getting any interference. Or you could follow your white lines. Or follow the white lines or follow these lines, whatever. But it's not going to interfere with another tool because they're a different color. I thought that was a cool part of it. On this side, you have the numbers. The numbers are low, so they don't, these numbers, so they don't interfere with your cutting. But yet you can still line things up. You will notice there are squares and stars, just like on the stripology mats. So the stars are at one and a half inches, so you don't even have to do the math. And the squares are at two and a half all the way. And it's on the other side too. And it's on the sides. Okay. So I've never had a mat that does the squares and the, and the stars on the sides, which is really cool. And if you, if you cut a lot of yardage, which I know a lot of people don't, but we do here, it's helpful that these numbers align with yes. these numbers. Because if you have a long ruler, it's just easier to do it. Sometimes they'll do them in one direction on this side and the other direction on top. That's mm -hmm. really annoying when you're trying to line that's, it up. That's what our math. Yeah, you got to do the math. And Lord knows we don't want to do that. I am going to flip this over because there's some really cool stuff. I finally learned what this was all about. So you will notice there's not as many lines on this side. Okay. They are at half inch increments because you still probably need those. You will notice that there aren't the diamonds and all that because this side is meant to use the stripology ruler. And while she backs away, I'm going to turn it the right way. I have the numbers going the wrong way. Not that it matters. I'm not going to use the numbers, but I'm a little weird. Um, it also shows 60 degree lines which are very helpful with stripology. I want to show you why. All right, so I just want to do a real quick stripology demo. Well, actually, it's a mat demo. I asked Tara to do it over here instead of over there because not all of you, probably not many of you, have a table like that to cut on. So you need to see that you can lay your mat out on a regular table. With These are folding tables. Okay, you could do this on your dinner table, whatever. And you've got this huge cutting space. And then you're going to lay your fabric out. And if you've used stripology, you know that we have to fold it in half. So I always have the fold down here, fold it up. Then we're going to take the stripology. Once again, my lines don't interfere. My darks don't interfere with my dark down here. Okay. But I can see them, and I could line them up if I wanted to. I don't need to, but I could. Um, don't forget, I need to cut a couple strips. So I'm going to just run through very briefly. Um, the best thing, you've got your, your teardrop openings. So the best thing is a 45 degree, or 45 degree, 45, 45 millimeter. millimeter cutter. You can use 60, but it will... It might give you a little hassle, okay? What I do is I line the bottom of my fabric up. You want to make sure your fabric is straight and pressed. It's very important that it lay flat. Otherwise, you're going to get elbows. When you unfold the strip, there's going to be a little <laughs> elbow in it. So you want it nice and flat. I even spray it a little with a little bit of starch. I am going to go to the zero. And I am going to run this up through. The other thing you need is a very new blade. Because what that will do is even it out. Okay? So that's excess. Goes in the bin for my mother. All right. Then I'm going to do a two, two and a half inch strips. If you are going to do the jelly roll rug, or you want to do a jelly roll rug, or you want to do one of the many, 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 many um, two and a half inch 
strip quilts out there. We have books, we have everything, jelly rolls, whatever. Um, you're going to have to cut, you want your own. I want this in my rug. So I need to cut my own strips. Now you could take a regular ruler and you could line it up, cut two and a half, move it, cut two and a half, move it. That's, um, that's, uh, takes some time and it could be wrong. Every time you move a ruler or your fabric, you're running the risk of it going wonky. So what I'm going to do is just put my hand down. Remember I said two and a half have squares. So watch how fast I can. Oop. Too fast? Sorry. I don't want to move the camera too fast. Yeah, I don't want to make you ill. So I am now just cutting two and a half inch strips. And again, a new blade is very helpful. You could, if you're brave, cut four layers at a time. Now, technically, I have four layers at a time because it was folded and then I fold it again. You could probably put two on there if you wanted to. I don't think I would, but hey. All right. So what I've done is I've done all my boxes all the way across. If you were doing one and a half inch strips, this measurement right here, can you see that, Tara? This me, measurement right here. Let me get in close. Okay, is an inch. So if you were doing one and a half, the last measurement is 19 and a half, you could go up here. Oh, good tip. And get one more strip out of it if you were doing one and a half. You can't do that with two and a half. Okay. All right. So look how fast that went. Just like that. And I got my mat all laid out. I could just swing this down, lay it down again, and do some more. The other thing that is awesome with this mat is it's got the 60 degree lines on it. So I can lay these. And strangely enough, they're exactly two and a half inches apart. I could lay these down. And you could do full, you know, stretch it out the full length if you wanted to, but it's easier to do it this way. So you need some diamonds for your pattern. Cutting diamonds individually, kind of a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to line them up. I'm going to take my, my, uh, Stripology, and I am going to <coughs> sorry line up my zero here. Actually, I could actually pull this up a little, <coughs> do them at an angle. Can I bring this in and show where the zero is? Sure. So right here's my zero. Remember, we want to get a straight edge. Right there's my zero. I want to use it's a two and a half inch strip, so I want to use my two and a half inch cutting. My 45 degree <coughs> angle. Sorry. Excuse me, 45 degree cutter. I'm not going to do them all because I don't want to bore you to tears. But you just go through your boxes again. That's probably enough for those watching. And you got these adorable diamonds. Oh, look at that. Aren't they pretty? And you got two. So, in a very short period of time, get your cutting done. Now, most I don't know about most, a great number of patterns start with strips. And from there, you either cut squares. You can do squares on here, just lay them lengthwise along these lines. And then you can set it on top and do a whole bunch of squares or rectangles or whatever. But these lines were designed, especially this side of the mat, for stripology. So if you have stripology, you might want to get this mat because that will just that much easier. I know, and I know Noreen's watching. She tells me she uses her stripology all the time. It's easier on her hand and you can get it done so much faster. I do too. So, yep. And Brenda does too. Brenda. <laughs> Say hi, Brenda. <laughs> you talked, so I turned. <laughs> so seriously consider this, Matt. Today's the last day. And, um, I just think you would be very happy with it. It also protects your table. Okay, you're not going to cut through it. If we don't cut through it, you're not going to cut through it. Um, and it's handy. And when you don't need it, put it under your bed. Or, you know, put it in the bottom of a closet that can lay flat. You really should lay them flat. Um, and then when you need it, pull it out again. So it can work anywhere. As long as you have 36 inches 
by 24 inches. So if you got a cardboard or cardboard, yeah, a card table, you could probably do it. Get a sturdy one though, because you're gonna be leaning on it. So are there any questions about the map that I hopefully can answer? I love my little diamonds, aren't they cute? My watermelons. Ta-da! And all you gotta do is put you know, side triangles, and you could have diamond wrecks, okay, and go from there. So, fast way to do it. Fast, fast way. You could also do, oh, look, you could also do a cute little, like this. Oh, I'm glad I cut as many as I did. That's perfect. Look at that. So, you could just put triangles here. Okay, don't do Y seams. God, don't do Y seams. Um, just put your triangles here. And then when you go to put them together, this is gone. You just sew the pieces together. So, isn't that cute? And you could do, you could alternate them with any color you have. I have a pink too, but I didn't cut that one. So, okay. Are we good? Yes. So. Yep. Okay, good job. Am I next doing three, two, one? Um, yes, but I've seen a couple of questions here I wanted to answer. Okay. So I'll pop over and answer. All right, you go pop can, over. You can do the grand finale. Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> I think I'm going to get them out. Brenda, let me know if I don't. So I did notice Sue Lear asked about the announcement for next month's item of the month, which is an excellent question. I can see why you would want to know because we're not going to be on for – Oh, long time, a while. Um, no, you don't have to wait two weeks. What we're going to do is, first of all, it's going to be announced first in our. Um, well, I don't know if it'll be first because tomorrow's the first. We might just do an improv yeah. impromptu live. We could do that. We'll see. We'll do um, it tomorrow. No promises, though. No promises. Um, but it will go out in the newsletter. So um, our newsletter is sent out every week on Saturday morning. So if you get one every week on Saturday morning, you know that, and you will see what the item of the month is next month, which is a doozy, by the way, um, in a good way. And if you are not getting an email every Saturday and would like to, you can either A, let me know that, or someone at the shop, <clears throat> or B, um, go to the website and opt in. There's a little pop-up box that says, do you want to be on our newsletter? And you put your email address in there. I know that some of you have, a, you've unsubscribed because, gosh, don't we need to unsubscribe from, from newsletters? And so if you have, have gotten them and then unsubscribed, you have to go back in and fix that. I can't fix that because what the computer says is you don't want to get my emails, which I, you know, don't blame you because, we have too many emails these days. But if you want to know these things, then you're going to have to get back on the list. So that's question one. Question two is from Bev. And Bev asked, do we order them separately, like the item of the month or in the other items? And that's a great question, too, because that happens a lot, actually. And Kendall has just come in to fill some orders. And what will happen <clears throat> if you order? Yes, you can go ahead and order all in the same order. And let's say that it is next week and you want the item of the month for March, but you also want to buy like this as well. So what will happen in that case, if you're not right at the end of the month, is that you will get an email from Kendall that says, do you want us to ship these? Do you want to pick these up? Whichever way you're getting them. And you can have either ha wait until the end of the month when the item of the, or the beginning of the next, when the item of the month is available, or you can get them in two separate packages. So that's really um, just up to you what you want to do. And I think that is all the questions that I have seen oh, that I Brenda see. hasn't answered. And Brenda's given me a yes. So now it's Irene's turn to show you our three, two, one. Woohoo! My favorite. My most right. preferred. <laughs> I'm trying not to use the word favorite anymore because I was informed by someone namely Tara, that you can only have one favorite. I do it too, though. But I just get so excited. So 321 is my most preferred event of Facebook Live. 
even though I really like the demo. But if you don't know what this is, we end our um, Facebook Lives with three, two, one. We have a fabric for three dollars a yard, limited. You know, it's went until it's gone. We have um, an item that we usually have two of. We might have three, but it doesn't matter. We have limited, and then we have one, which we only have one of usually. So let's start with the three dollar fabric. Here it is, isn't it pretty? So this was regular twelve fifty nine a yard, and we are selling it for three dollars. I'm sorry, I am so distracted. There's words on it, and it says something about food. Oh no, that's good. Sorry, I thought it said food. Sorry, um, and cherish and something else. So some of these right here have words on them. So, um, but isn't it pretty? It's a neutral. It'd be a great background for a small, like a pillow or something, because it has movement. And um, it's not just plain solid colors. I'm not a solid color person. It's a nice creamy background. Yes, it's very pretty. And it has approximately, someone didn't write it for me. So one, two, maybe three yards at the most. So if you want this, you better get it fast. And again, you must order this on the website. Don't tell us here. Either order it on the website or come in. And it's until it's gone. Okay. I'm, I'm chuckling a little because you said they didn't write it, but we can all see the three and a half. <laughs> Where? Oh, it's on the other side. I didn't see that. <laughs> I, it's usually up here. So, okay. So they did write it. But anyway, so there's about three and a half. Okay. So $3 a yard. Number two is an adorable little pattern. If you're a, a familiar with cut loose patterns, they are awesome. They are, this one's from Kathy Laird. It's called Stone Path Table Runner. Tara's going to show it to you. It takes my favorite creative grids ruler, which is six and a half by 12 and a half, but you can use any ruler. Um, and it, what the heck are some of these things? Calls I, for a I seam ripper, um, grab a ruse gloves. Kind of presumptuous about you needing a seam ripper. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused, but. As far as fabric, it takes a half a yard background and border, eight different fat quarters, and a quarter yard binding, and a five eighths yard backing, and batting 20 by 44. But it's a cute, simple little runner. Um, these are regular 350. They are on sale for 175. Okay, $1.75 for a whole pattern. It's called the Stone Half. Table. Stone path table runner. Okay, so that was two. And one is this lovely design wall. I forgot the, how to say it. Um, it is 72 by 72. And if you've ever tried to put a quilt together on your bed, got it all together and realized something's just not right, it's much better to look at it horizontally, or excuse me, vertically then look down at it like that. Now, sometimes we do what we got to do. Apparently, I have decided to make a lot of quilts that are bigger than 72 by 72, so it's very hard. I still put them up on a design wall, but it looks kind of funny. You can do them a, a quarter at a time. Even That's true. Like a king. That's true, them. and with a lot of patterns, they put them together a quarter at a time because they know you don't have a lot of room. So this was regular $43.99. It is on sale for $21.99. That's pretty darn good. Okay. It's a crisp white. Yes, very, so very white. Even whiter than my design walls. My design walls are an off-white. Mm -hmm. This is very white. And so. for those of you who have taken classes in our old classroom, which is where um, one of the machines is now, we have a couple of those up on the wall. Yes. And they, they last really They're well great. Too. And it's a, a felt. So for the most part, your, your pieces stick. Now, if you have a big, heavy piece, you're going to need to pin it. But... Um, but it works very, very well. I wouldn't live without my design walls. I have multiples. Huh. So That's what Brenda just said. <laughs> great minds. Great minds. Yeah. All right. So this is one on sale from $43.99 to $21.99. And again, website or come in. When it's gone, it's gone. This is the only one we have. Okay. Number two was the pattern. Marked down from $3.50 to $1.75. 
for a pattern. You can't buy patterns for $1.75. And then number three is this beautiful fabric, $3 a yard. So pretty. It would make a nice backing. So three and a half yards would do a small. Do a three yard quilt. It'd do a three yard quilt with it no problem. Probably would do one of the. Yeah, it might do one too. of our half pack quilts. So very pretty. Now I want to buy it. I know. I always say, if this doesn't go, let me know. You don't know how much I buy. But luckily, a lot of you come in and buy it. I thank you very much. So, all right. All right. Any questions for us? I'm not seeing any. Are you, Brenda? All right. Well, we will miss you. No. We will do an impromptu one, if we can, at the retreat next week. Um, as Tara said, if you're an early bird on Thursday, I should be ready for you by 8 o'clock. Um, and if not, you can always sneak over and get coffee um, right next door, you know, right like the other way. Um, and then Sunday we go, you have until like 1, 1.30, even 2 to um, sew, but usually everybody picks up right after lunch. So... I have to load the cutting sta tables and the um, pressing stations first because they're the biggest. So we're getting a question. Yes. I actually, <clears throat> I am always upset with myself when I get one of these obvious questions that I did not think to say. <gasps> Thank you, Amy. Amy wants to know, will the shop be open during retreat? I thought that's where you were headed with the... Um... With the announcement of you the would retreat. Think. And you I would forgot think to I ask it there. <laughs> I'm I'm having vacation brain. We'll blame it on that today. All right. So the good. question is, will the shop be open during retreat? No. Right. <laughs> you know why? I wasn't sure. Maybe. No, I was, but I thought she was just gonna say it is her shop. Um the reason is we're all at the retreat. Yeah. Linda and Brenda and I and Tara. Yep. We're all at the retreat. And we don't have any backups. You nope. do not want my husband to hold down the fort. And to be perfectly honest, we take a lot of the shop with us. <laughs> so technically, if you're at retreat, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Brenda suggests all our husbands come run the shop while we're gone. You don't want mine. He's he's afraid of fabric. <laughs> he's afraid I'm going to buy all the fabric is what he's afraid of. So but, Amy, thank you for giving yes. us the opportunity to note that because that's an important thing that we need to remember the other thing is if you are and i'm thinking of people like amy and and so forth if you want to see what a retreat looks like stop in and see us right. we it's have company yeah it's in geneseo at the quality inn on lakeville road um stop and see us we love company we and bring your husband especially if it's a man, man because i, I was, was gonna like, say hey, there's a man in the whenever room. a man walks in we all go hey there's a man <laughs> <laughs> but um definitely stop and see. you can also shop if you want yeah it's like we never seen a man but um it's true you could shop you the, could shop, the shop there will be open so if it's there. something you need we probably have it with us but even if you just want to come and come hang out with these ladies they are so much fun and uh, just to get the feel of what it's like and what your space might look like and things like that. So, um, and we should also do a little Facebook Live that talks about that. Yes. Too. Maybe I'll clean up my space at some point. <laughs> or we do it really early right. yeah. <laughs> before the spaces get to be a disaster. But, uh, and the projects are just, we try to post as many as we can. We get permission and we try to post. Um, I'm going to do something slightly different this time. So this might affect those of you who are going. You know how we ring the bell? If you um, complete a project. Complete in the sense of get it put or together. complete something, right? Complete something. Because I remember ringing the yes. bell. Yes. Um, we have bells on the table. And you ring the bell. I am doing a little box basket of small gifts that I've had left over from other retreats. So when you ring the bell, you get to pick a nice. small gift. So I don't have enough to give everybody. So this is a way to, to do that. The other thing we're having is a bring and take table. Um, though Rosie called it something really cute. And I got to look it up. It's cuter than bring and take. Um, basically, if you have stuff at home that you don't want and you want to donate, you just bring it in, put it on the table. And then anybody can walk around and 
pick up what they want. They don't pay for it. You know, it might be an old pattern that they're done with or um, a fat quarter that you have no idea why you bought or something like that. So um, we are going to do bring and take. In the fall, we don't have enough room because we have more people. But this one, we have about 20 people less. So I can, you know, scrounge a table to, to put everything on if people want to bring stuff. So um, those of you who are coming, I will send out a letter today about your packing directions. And I always send it, even though most of you are seasoned Can veterans. you send it to me too, please? I always forget to send it to Tara. So I will send it to Tara now Everybody also. knows that I asked. Yep. So, um, you know, just with some things like, please don't bring heavy perfumes. Um, some people are very sensitive. If you're going to use starch, please use scent scentless starch. The Best Press has a scent free. Um, all the all of them now have scent free, just because some people are very 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 sensitive to it. And we're in a closed area, so um, a beautiful area, but it is closed in. So um, things like that. So that letter will go out today, and um, on there I'll remind you about the bring and take. So, all right. I think we're good. We covered the retreat and um, and the store will be closed from Thursday through, well, we're closed on Monday anyway. So we'll close, it'll close Wednesday at four o'clock this coming week. And it won't reopen until the following Tuesday at 11 o'clock. So if you need something, you need to pick up a quilt, you need to do whatever, um, please try to, to do that. I know some of you come on Saturdays because that's your day off, but we will be sewing and eating because they have really good food. So, okay. If you have any questions, please call, please text, please whatever. And um, you guys have a great week. We will miss you and well, you'll see us. We'll be popping on to show you cool stuff. So, all right. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.